Before we jump into editing photos, I want to cover a few basics with you um, to help you be successful in creating your photos. The first thing that I want to talk to you about is the difference between your JPEG files and your PNG files. Here I have two tiger head logos that are inserted onto this screen. One is a PNG and one is a JPEG. In here they look relatively similar. Although whenever you look at them against a different colored background, you can see the difference between the two. Anytime you create a logo and you save it as a JPEG, it's not going to support transparency. Meaning if you insert it on a web page that has a different colored background, it's going to have that white box around it. So whenever you're doing logos, if you want that image to be trimmed and cropped down along the edges of your logo, you're going to want to save the file as a PNG file because PNGs do support transparency. The second thing that I want to talk to you about before getting started is pixels. And images that we're going to create are going to be created and made up of different pixels. To whenever you look at the left image of a deer, it looks exactly like a deer, but whenever you zoom in, you're going to be able to see the detail of each pixel individually to see how that image is made up. So keep that in mind whenever we go into editing our photos here. I'm going to exit out of this and open up our paint.net. So this is our photo imaging software that we're going to be using that we talked about before, paint.net. Whenever you go to create a new file, you'll go to File New, and it's going to give you a lot of different options. So the first thing that I want to talk to you about is figuring out what size your canvas needs to be. And you're going to see that it automatically shows over here in pixels. Now pixels is not the same thing as inches. Pixels and inches are completely different. So if you know that you want your file to be a 5 by 7, I would come down here to the bottom and put your 5 by 7 in this bottom. Make sure it has it selected by inches. And then you'll notice up at the top your pixels are going to be automatically changed as well. So once you have your file size created exactly how you want it, the second thing that you need to do is check on your resolution. And the easiest way to do this is to figure out how you want your image to be viewed. If your image is going to be viewed typically from a screen through a PowerPoint or through a website, 96 resolution is fine. But for any image that's going to be printed out, you want your resolution to be at least 300. And my rule of thumb is it's always easy to go down. So if you create an image at resolution 300, it's very easy to compress that for a web page. However, if you create your logo at a 96 resolution, it's impossible to go up for it to be printed on paper. So my rule is I always do everything at 300, and if I need to compress it for the website, I can. So I'll set your resolution at 300. You'll notice that your size has changed. So you can go back down here and change it back to your 7x5, and now you can click on OK, and you're good to go.